In the third step, we're going to use an array to load all of our images. Now, I like to have generic image names, image 1, image 2, image 3, etc., because I can replace the images outside of Flash and never have to recode this, and I can have images of anything. So I have my images array, and I've added an image X and image Y for the X and Y, those, I'm sorry, the thumb X and thumb Y for the X and Y, starting the X value at 20 and the thumb number at 350, so they appear at the bottom of the screen. And then we have our load thumbs. We just call it so that it will actually run. Function load thumbs. We've created a variable thumb loader, which is of a loader type. We have a variable of I, U int, which is a positive int, less than images, dot length, which is the length of the array, I plus plus. And we'll go through in a for statement, and I'm I was tracing it here because I was having trouble getting it to work. I just had my Y value set too low so they were appearing off the stage. So I've got my thumb loader equals new loader, thumb loader equals new URL request, and my thumbnails are in my Seamus thumbs folder. So I'm inside of Seamus thumbs, and you'll notice they have the same name as, as my other files. And then I have thumbloader.x equals thumbx, thumbloader.y equals thumby. I'm adding 50. The maximum width my thumbs have is 30. And we can test this. And you can see I have my thumbnails across the bottom here. And there are varying widths, and I did not get into putting each one into a movie clip and making them balance perfectly. Um, that was a little more carried away than I wanted to get. So it is loading there.